Hi, Brian here from Pure Pyrex again. So, this time I want to do a little video focusing on the wheat sheaf pattern. Now, I have sh have shown a couple of these dishes in some previous videos before. Um, one of my earlier limited and one-off videos, I did show the blue wheat sheaf um, three and a half pint ca uh, round casserole. One of those, which I have two of these, as you can see. And in a, one of my earlier videos that focuses on um, shallow oval casseroles, I showed my green wheat sheaf divided dish, which is here. So, but the reason I wanted to do a video today is because uh, we've been in a lockdown situation now, and it's just coming out of it now, but up until now, I've only been able to buy stuff online and look at stuff online, really, because I haven't been around to get around to charity shops and things. And I rarely buy stuff online, but I did see one thing, and I'm going to open it now, because it relates to the wheat sheaf pattern. As I, as I talked about before, the, the uh, divided dish only comes in two colors. Or the, the round one only comes in blue, the divided dish comes in the green color and also a red color. So when I was browsing online, um, where did I put those? What did I find at a very reasonable price? I'll show you here. I haven't opened it yet. And as always, I'm always uh, nervous about opening glass things. So the reason I went ahead and bought this online, not only is it the red wheat sheep divided casserole that I need to complete the set. But there is a get rid of that. There's a rare accessory that comes for the divided casseroles. And this one came with it. Which I'll show you here in a minute. If I can <laughs> Okay, I can see it now already. Okay, okay. Put more cardboardy things. Get those out. Now, I'm going to put this here for now, and I'll show you in a half a second. If I can get this out. Oh, oh look, it's wrapped in some kind of wrapping paper. Christmas paper or something. That's great. It is like Christmas. Now, let's see what the condition of this is. Okay, there it is there. Hold on a sec, I'll get rid of this box. I'll just turf that over there. Okay, so here we are. This is the red wheat sheaf divided dish. As you can see, it goes with the green one. So, but the really rare thing, and the best thing, is that it came with the hard to find, they usually probably would have got misplaced always, over the years is the carry handle that comes with this and they clip on I believe just like this there we are so you can pack it around here like that so with the three pieces a blue one the green one and the red one that's everything that came in the wheat sheaf collection now but that's not the end of the story I talked about before about the charity shops and and about our lockdown situation and they eased the restrictions just last week and I was able to get around to a couple charity shops and my very first purchase that I found post lockdown or whatever is this item right here Ta -da. <laughs> it's a red wheat sheaf divided dish for, and I knew I had this one coming in the post um, but it was only two pounds and I paid only a little bit more than that for this one as well with the handle Two pounds is about three dollars. Red wheat sheaf, and both of them are in really good condition. Some of them have a little wear, like this green one, a little bit of wear to the pattern here. And you can see the blue one of my blue ones a little bit more faded than the other one. So that's pretty cool. Got two of the two of the red ones. Now I'll use another green one, so I have two of each. So we'll talk a wee bit about the wheat sheaf pattern itself. It's a, it's a real simple motive of a single sheet of wheat, or a single strand of wheat. Um, but the name wheat sheaf 
interestingly enough, doesn't really uh, refer to a single strand of wheat. It's what it refers to is a bunch of wheat. You might have seen the old pictures. A bunch of um, any kind of grain, really, harvest. And what they did, sheavers would go around by hand and cut the wheat or the grain or whatever it is and put it into what they call sheaves. Or, and that would be called sheafing, too. So anyway, with mechanized tractors and all that stuff, harvesting, the, these kind of words have kind of become obsolete. So that's where wheat sheaf comes from. But nevertheless, it's a, it's a really cool pattern. It's really, uh, it's both modern and vintage looking, I think. And I think it's a real attempt that Pyrex is trying to make a more elegant kind of pattern, more sort of formal. So, um, interestingly enough as well, the U.S., in this pattern came out in 1961 and went to 1964. And also in 1961, the U.S. had a promotional dish that is very similar. As you can see, the only difference I can see in it is, well, for the blue, this is the only dish I think they did in that, and they called it a hostess. Hostess casserole, I think, something like that. Um, but unofficially, they called it blue wheat. And I don't know if you can see, but how there's only a single little bottom strand of uh, grass or whatever it is on there on the U.S. pattern one. But in the JAJ one, there's two of them at the bottom, so it's a little bit different. But it's very similar, and you can see how they influenced each other. So the carry handle. Uh, these shallow divided dishes didn't come with lids, um, and they kind of describe these as um, hostess sets or for serving like party nibbles and treats and things, and the wee handle was designed for that so you can carry it around and pass it around. So that's a little bit different than your standard um, oval casseroles that were des designed mainly for vegetables and for hot food and stuff. So anyway, there was a wheat sheaf pattern, and... I can officially say that my collection of Wheat Chief is complete because I have one piece of every kind. Thank you very much.